today I'm going to show you guys how I made this cute little tent, nap tent, for my cat, Persephone. Um, I wanted to get rid of some old fabric, so I just decided this would be a good project to do it. So I just needed some wooden dowels. I got each of these for under a dollar, I think about 47 cents for the long ones, and the pack I got for, I believe, 99 cents, maybe 98. So here I'm just setting up the dowels the way that I'd imagine them to go. I'm kind of going for like a teepee shape here. I'm using my cat for scale. I ended up kind of wanting it to be more close to the ground because my kitten likes to lay down underneath the shade. Uh, she's always loves it when I hold a blanket up for her to hang out underneath. So this is the shape that I went with. Um, I just used some hot glue to attach them all up here before I go in now and add the twine to keep it all together. So you're just going to want to wrap it around several times in every direction to make sure it won't go anywhere. And to get the extra bits off the top, I just started by marking all the way around with some scissors, going in and uh, slicing a little bit more with a knife and then breaking it off like this. So this is about how it looks. So next I'm going to take some pink fleece that I used in another video of mine. You can watch this uh, heart pillow tutorial in the i button above, I'll link to it there. Um, I'm just testing out to make sure that it actually fits on all of the sides. I only need to cover two sides since I want to have one a little hole for her to go into. I'm going to hem up the edges at the bottom and I think I'm just going to go around the edges and uh, hot glue them around the dowels. So here I'm kind of just marking out where I want everything. I'm leaving a little bit of a space at the top and I'll show you how I fix that later. Um, so I'm just making sure that everything can fold over. I'm going to hot glue all of these edges and seams together and just cut off any excess I have after that. Make sure that when you hem the bottom it'll be flush with the ground and make sure you do it on two sides. So I didn't actually do mine quite tight enough, so I'm taking some hot glue here and pushing the fabric up higher so that it's more taut. Um, this is just how I combated this issue. If you uh, do it tight enough in the first place, this won't be a problem, but just so you know what to do in case you come across the same issue. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking some leftover white fleece from my Volpix onesie, which I'll also put in the i button above. I'm cutting out this donut shape using a mug and a plate, and I'm just going to drape it over the hole and pull it up and adjust it so that it covers uh, the back sides where I need them. I'm going to hot glue it around the dowel like I did for the pink fleece, and eventually it should look just like this. So there's no light coming in from all angles. And now I'm going to take this into my room and set it up facing the window so that my kitten can hang out underneath it. I think this is a great way to get rid of some extra fabric and I definitely think my cat appreciates the little extra gift and a little extra love. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you saw, feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Bye!